good morning to everyone today we will discuss the uh, salesforce administration section 4 we'll discuss and today topics is and uh, what is lookup relationship and how to create lookup relationship in salesforce that we discuss today and now uh, what is lookup relationship means the for, see the lookup relationship uh, the lookup relationship is nothing but it is a loosely couples and here we are parent records if if you are delete the parent records mean the child records of uh, child records will not deleted in that lookup relationship and what what's the purpose of you using the lookup relationship means uh, the see the purpose of lookup relationship is to establish a connection between related data in different tables for example so one object is related to the another object mean that time you are making the relationship between the two objects we are using for the lookup relationship we are using here and it allows you to associate record from one table with a record and another table this like we are making here by referencing the primary key of the second tables as a foreign key in the first tables you can click uh, the two tables together for example let's consider two tables see i am taking the example of order and customers in order also we have created the fields we created and customer also we created the uh, field, uh, fields we created in them and these two i am giving the relationship between the two objects i am making the we are using lookup relationship i am giving here and if here if you are making for uh, if you are uh, created the any records for that orders and customer relationship and if you are making the lookup relationship you are make it after you are deleted the parent records means for example the hard is the parent records means that time it will be uh, child records records will not deleted only the parent record only they will be deleted in that that's the reason and now see the order of table may be foreign keys columns called customer id that reference the primary key columns and customer id in the customers establish this table establish lookup relationship between two tables indicating that each orders is associated with a specific customer and lookup relationship are useful for organizing querying data efficiently they enable data integrities and they enforce uh, re referentials and integrity and constraints and provides a mean to retrieve related information from multiple tables using joins and this is the purpose of we are using the lookup relationship here and now i am going to the uh, how to create lookup relationship in salesforce so that we will see today and now i am going to the new I am logging to the my account. I am entering my password. Mm. Yeah, I am logging in. Now the my Salesforce Trilad account was open here. Now you can go to the ICIC bank. And before uh, what objects we which objects you want to assign for uh, lookup uh, lookup relationship in that objects you can select it. Now I'm going to the ICIC bank. I'm going to the home loan and and here you can see the home loan I created before the how to create home loan objects for uh, for how to how to create fields in that objects that also we discussed it and before section now I'm uh, how to uh, create lookup relationship for the two objects that we will see now I created only one objects I created the home loan I created here and I want to another field also I want to create for that one and uh, the see before you are created any two objects you are created that time you can make the uh, relationship between two objects you can make it no problem now I created only the home loan only I created and another field if you want to select see the uh, another field I already created that field I am selecting now and uh, I am going to the home loan No. 
go to the customer and uh, ICIC bank customer type active status and name okay I'm taking the customer see this uh, customer they already they created uh, and uh, see this customer uh, fields are they already created in that and that field I'm selecting see the parties and names and customer status types and uh, uh, total lifetime values and everything there will be given this one I'm making the relationship between the two objects I'm making here and now I'm going to the uh, setup and cells click the setup and uh, click the object manager now and which objects you are making the uh, parent which objects it will be the child i am giving the uh, home loan will be the parent i am taking uh, uh, home loan home loan will be the child and uh, now i am going to the field and relationship now i am going to the new And here you can select the lookup relationship. I'm selected the lookup relationship. And here also you can see that the definition of the lookup relation, create relationship that links these objects to another object. The relationship field allows users to click and look up icons to select value of from pop-up list. The other object is source of the value in this. And it is the two objects it related means that time you can uh, give the relationship between the two objects you're making. That time we are using the lookup relationship. And uh, and next it and um, here which objects you want that objects you can give the uh, select it now. I'm selecting customer. Customer. Where is the customer? Yeah, these are the objects I selected, and I'm giving the next. And uh, see the home run will be the child. And customer will be the parent here. And now I'm making next. Now I'm visible to all. Now next it. And next it. And save it. The only one relationship only I had it. That's why I selected the save button. I clicked. And if you want another relationship also, I want to make means that time you can select the save and new function, you can use it. Now you can see here, the this application, it will be now, the, now you are created the customer, customer lookup relationship, you are created that. The, these, uh, these are the child records and the customer will be the parent records. Now you can create the records. Go to the, um, go to the home loans. Now, you can see now you can go to the customers and there you can create the records. That records it, it will be already you are taking. Now I'm giving the which objects. Okay. Okay, Mr. Morali. And uh, okay, I'm selecting the required fields only. I'm selecting and uh, save it. And uh, customer status type active or inactive that I'm selecting. And name fields uh, Morali. And total lifetime values, 10 years, and save it. Now you can go to the home loan, new, and here you can select the name of the uh, person, um, Morali Sanju. And uh, date of loan sanction, 31st. And type of loans, agriculture loan. And loan amount, 2 lakhs. And customer emails. 
and uh, here I am making customer details. Mm. I'm entering details of loans, loan. Function. Agriculture. I'm writing simply, I'm writing here. Time of junction, I'm giving 12.30. And now you can save it. If you want to create another record also, you can use it. And uh, no, no, no. First, you can refresh it. And why means it will be not coming. Refresh it. And go to the new. And give the name. And you can see here. Customer address and okay. Now it should be showing the one name, Rinky, and uh, date of loan sanction. I'm giving the 31st and uh, to agriculture loan. And I'm giving the amount 1 lakh and customer emails and uh, Come down and I'm giving loan stands and something I'm writing here. Mm. 12.30 and customer, which customer here? The Murli loan. And now I'm giving the save buttons. Now you can go to the details. And now you can see here the application number before one record is there that it will be counted. And this one is the second applications and see the type of the loans and everything it will be showing here. And now we can related of uh, related object also it will be there. See the already that uh, the customer relationship will be there. And if you click that one means it will be directly there will be going the these details it will be going that one. That's like you can create the lookup relationship for uh, objects to objects. Thank you.